loves, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chen Yute and today I'm gonna be creating this super pretty, super easy to follow, very trendy makeup look. So if you're interested in how I created this really beautiful mess, stay tuned. <laughs> Hey guys, all right, so let's start off with products that have been very trendy on Instagram, products that you see all over the makeup tutorial pages. And one thing that I purchased solely to make this video and was very intrigued by is this Base Pro eyeshadow primer and it's by Plaus, I think that's how you say it. I'm going in with the um, P. Louise. Did I say Plaus before? Wow. When I see eyeshadow tutorials that are using this base, it kind of feels like it's just a complete blank canvas. And because I'm gonna be doing a funky color today, I really want the color to hold. So I decided this is the perfect time to try this out as well. First impressions, never used this one before. This is their pro one, and it's actually quite affordable. I mean, this massive eyeshadow primer was about 17 pounds, I think. As I was paying for shipping, I might as well have gotten a few other things. So I basically got eyeshadow primers that are in different shades as well. So I got a really light, light shade. It's pretty much white. And this is in Rumor 05. And then I got like a tan shade that's more like the color of my eyelid when I want to create eyeshadows that are more like deeper and more smoky. Um, and this is in Rumor 07. But I'm gonna be using the original today just to see how it looks. All right, so I'm gonna start off with my base. This morning I woke up and I put on some of this Glow Elixir face mask that's very good around the eye area as well. I just kind of slathered it all over my face and I love the way this feels. This is a really good leave-on mask. And I'm super lazy, so now I'm tending to kind of stray when I need a nice hydrating morning cream. I want to prep my skin, so I kind of go towards a mask that you can just wipe off the excess later on instead of having to wash it off because I'm just super lazy. This is really nice and actually looks really nice under my makeup. So I'm gonna go in with the SPF and this is the all day long daily tinted broad spectrum by Dr. David Jack. I love this SPF so freaking much. My skin just looks so beautiful. Okay, so now that that's on, I'm just gonna put the rest on my hands. I'm going to go in with a face primer. I'm gonna use this Lancome one. I love this for my T-zone area. If you have a very oily T-zone area, this is amazing. This is the Prep and Matte Face Primer. It really does sort of strip some of the oil out of your skin, but I don't mind it because I don't want to look like a grease ball and I hate when it just gets greasier on this area of my face and on my chin because it just accentuates the texture, whereas this is like helps blur and mattify that area. And I like to keep the rest of my face fairly greasy. <laughs> I have scratches all over my face and they're from Adam. He woke up one day with like Wolverine claws and just was so excited to see me in the morning. He was just like ah, 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 on my face and I was just like, but you're too cute. Um, sure. So NARS has sent me their tinted glow boosters. These just came out and I've seen them all over Instagram PR stories. I wanted to try it, I was gonna buy it, but actually the same day I got this, which is perfect because I saved some money. I have the medium dark and then the medium. Now the medium dark is a little too dark for me right now as I'm like pale as a ghost, but the medium suits me just fine. So I've been using the medium dark to kind of bronze my skin, but I'm gonna go in with the medium and it's a nice like glowy prep for your skin before you go in with your base. You can use it as like a liquid highlighter, you can use it under your foundation, you can mix it into your foundation, and it's quite hydrating as well. Like I've already used this once before, and it's quite beautiful, but I am gonna avoid using it in my T-zone area and just kind of like in places where I wanna glow a little more. Do you know what I mean? Maybe like a little bit on the tip, but that's it. There's not much coverage to it at all actually. There's no coverage to this, it's just more of like a radiance a really fine radiant. All right, now that my base is prepped, I'm gonna go in with my eyeshadow and I'm just going to prime my eyelids. And I'm really excited to prime my eyelids. I really wanna know what this looks like. I'm going in with the um, P. Louise. Did I say Plows before? Wow. I thought it would be a lot more pigmented because when I see the girls putting it on on Instagram, 
it looks like a blank slate, like you're using the highest coverage of some neutral colored concealer and just concealing your eyelids. But maybe it's because my eyelids are already pigmented. It's not like, but I do feel like it does like mattify a little bit. Sorry, I'm recovering from a sore throat and I sound like I've smoked a million packs of cigarettes in one night last night, but I did. Oh, and I don't smoke in case. Well, hook up, which is actually technically worse. <laughs> I don't know how I like this yet, but let's just go ahead. I just thought it would be like blank, like conceal, you know? Okay, let's go in with this white color because I do want this color to pop. I'm gonna go in with like a neon orange and let's just apply a little bit of this. Okay, that's better. Oh yeah, okay, sponge helps. Okay, I'm not mad at that. I'm not. I've been seeing this Norvina palette all over Instagram. I mean, like, everybody uses it. It's absolutely beautiful. This and the Jackie Aina palette, which I don't know where I put. I'm so mad because I wanted to do so many tutorials on that. I'm going to find that tonight. Like, that's my goal before I go to sleep. But anyways, these colors are absolutely beautiful. They're bright and super pigmented. I was thinking, I woke up this morning and I'm like, let's do like a bright orange. I'm gonna go in with this yellowy color first. And just drag this down my crease. Now, you know when you don't do eyeshadow for a while and you just kind of forget how to do eyeshadow? Yeah, that's me. This brush is my favorite brush. It's the Make a Forever Professional Brush. They discontinued this like five years ago. I remember my sister had one and I loved it so much. A year after they discontinued it, I was so upset. I went on eBay and I bought this this particular brush for 50 pounds just because I wanted it so bad and it's just perfect and I only use it for like dramatic makeup tutorials because I don't want to <laughs> I don't want to lose it I don't want to like you know damage it or break it down too fast I find as I get older my brush tends to leave like these grid like it's not smooth it grids onto my eyelid just because of the sagging skin and the softer the brush is, the less likely that will happen. And this is like fluffy, huge, but super gentle. And another way to really prevent aging is to get really good blending brushes because you're essentially rubbing a brush over the most sensitive part of your entire body over and over again with different colors. So realistically, you want a really soft blending brush for that area. Next, I'm gonna go in with this neon orange and it's E2. Just Oh, <laughs> that is pigment. Oh, I'm not gonna lie, I wore this eyeshadow before and it did not stick like that. Okay, I don't know if you can see it, but I didn't put eyeshadow primer all the way here. Look at the difference. So I corrected my dark circles with the Estee Lauder Double Wear Corrector in orange, and I'm just going to blend that out and let it air dry a little down so it doesn't mix with my... I definitely look like one of the cast from Lion King. <laughs> I just want it to kind of dry down so it doesn't mix with my foundation. And the foundation I'm going to go in with is the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Shiseido Concealer. This is their Synchro Skin Self-Refreshing Concealer in 301 Medium. I could go in with a darker color. Oh! I wanted to so badly try these Jouer concealers, the high coverage concealer pens they just came out with. You know what? I'm just gonna do it on top. I mean, I wouldn't have worn it alone anyway, so. Right, so I'm gonna go in and highlight and contour with these new Jouer high coverage concealer pens that just came out. I'm gonna be using the shade 
honey to highlight and amber to contour. So you just kind of click it open like this. And then you go in. The one thing that is a little tricky about this is that once you click it open, you can't bring it back down. So don't go click crazy like I did when I first got it. Because I was like, oh, clicking. And I was doing this for like 10 minutes and then I realized it, it doesn't go back down. <laughs> I always love the idea of a contour pen. Like I love that idea. I always thought I'd come up with that. Just because I feel like all the contours that come out now are so like, thick and chunky. And you have to draw it on with your own brush and it just feel like this saves so much more time. You can just go in with a beauty blender after. Ooh, you can just like go straight in there and contour your nose. Just because of the way the applicator is shaped. <laughs> this is kind of beautiful. It blends beautifully. Ooh. This is beautiful. Okay, I'm I'm really loving this space right now. It's just really pretty. I'm gonna go on with some translucent powder. Now I want to look ultra bronze and I'm gonna be using the bronzing stick by Make. And this bronzing stick is super pigmented. So if you're anything lighter than me, then I would definitely stay away from this. I'm gonna go in with Max Copper Tone blush. Now I'm kind of just going to leave the eyes like this because I really love how beautiful it looks with the just the neon orange. I'm just going to add some highlighter onto the corners of my eyes. I'm going to take this Becca Champagne Pop highlighter and just apply it to the inner corners. I'm going to dust off the extra bake. I'm just gonna set my brows with some Surat Brow Paint Pomade, which is like one of the best out there. It's so good. I mean, I'm not really proud of my brows today, but you guys are quite forgiving. I'm gonna go in with some Lancome Mascara. My all-time favorite lashes are these Tati Lashes in TL9. They're so wispy, so beautiful. They just look so fluffy on your eye. It's just lush. I'm just like way too easy to trim them. Oh my God, you guys. Since when did they come out with a duo lash glue that has like a wand? I'm so late for these things. And if you haven't known, don't worry, me too. That's one off Amazon. Oh, while that dries, I'm just gonna let it kind of like settle in. I'm gonna go in with my Freck and this is my full Freckle applicator. Now you can use your brow wand you could use whatever, really. And I just left it and drop like that. A 
last but not least i'm gonna go in with a brownie nude lip color i mean i want to kind of keep it neutral so i like to go in with a contour stick this is the lancome contour stick in praline and then i'm gonna go in with a really pretty pinky coral color and this is the l'oreal signature liquid lipstick in i am power And then you can go in with a gloss after this. I don't really like gloss, so I tend to avoid it. But this is the finished makeup look. I hope you enjoyed it. I think it's super trendy, super Instagram friendly. This picture, when you take a selfie with this type of makeup where it's like soft but still like oomphed up, it just looks so, so beautiful. It's very complimentary as well and very like on trend. You got the neon orange, you have the fluffy lashes, no liner, the corally nudes that I'm obsessed with. Hope you enjoy this video. Make sure you thumbs up this video, comment down below and let me know what else you'd like to see or what else you'd like me to film. Another video with Amr is coming up very soon. Comment down below what you'd like me to do with my husband because I know you guys love those types of videos. He is super, super, Amazing, he's such a good sport. Like every time he's on camera, he's just loving it, which is actually so cute. Comment down below, let me know what you feel about this. Make sure you hit the bell notification to get notified. I upload videos twice a week now, Wednesdays and Sunday nights. So yeah, look forward to that. I'm gonna be doing a whole bunch of really cool content this year, and I'm just really happy to be back on YouTube. I'll list all the products down in the description box, and hope you enjoyed this, guys. Mwah. Bye.